Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am The Traveling Man and I come to you from onboard Celebrity Solstice. And today, I'm going to give you a tour all around this beautiful ship. So come on if you're ready. Let's get this adventure started. We'll start our tour in the very forward of the ship on the highest deck, deck 15. And this is where we'll find the basketball court. And we'll start to head back toward the midsection of the ship and you'll see there is a lot of seating on deck 15. It was always turned like this, kind of sideways though. So uh, perhaps this is somewhere quiet. You could go maybe on a sea day. Up next is the solstice deck. The solstice deck is located on deck 16. So you see you do have to go up a little bit of a stairwell from deck 15, but deck 16 and the solstice deck is a very nice and very quiet place to relax. I seldom saw people up here in this part of the ship. And in fact, on a lot of the Solstice class ships, this is where the Retreat Sun Deck, exclusive to those guests staying in suites, this is where that deck is located. And in uh, future years, I do expect that the Solstice will undergo rejuvenation. And this is where the Retreat Sun Deck will ultimately be. And this will be closed off to guests uh, other than those staying in suites. So definitely take advantage if you're selling the ship soon to come up here. You can see a great place to come at sunset and have stunning views. I enjoyed hanging out here at Sail Away and other times throughout the course of the cruise. Plenty of seating here. Now we'll move to the very aft of the ship on deck 15 and this is where we find the lawn club. And the lawn club features real grass. All of the grass you see there is real. It's a beautiful place to come hang out. They also have the glass blowing station you can see there on the right if you want to take some of those classes. They also have these alcoves available for rent. You can rent them on port days or at sea days. Now you will get a better deal on port days. So if you are looking to book one, uh, you can see there it is pretty private and exclusive and closed in uh, for you and your entire group can spend the whole day there. But the lawn club is a great place to hang out and spend an afternoon or maybe an evening before dinner. I really enjoy it and I love the real grass. Also on deck 15 in the very aft of the ship is a very popular location, the Sunset Bar. And the Sunset Bar is a beautiful place to sit, maybe have a drink, maybe to meet up with friends before or after dinner. Uh, you can see this is right before dinner one evening at sunset and there are very few people there, but it's a very nice place. It's there on the very back of the ship. So you'll have wonderful views flanked on either side by that real grass of the lawn club. And then when you turn and look off the back of the ship, you are gonna have stunning views. I mean, look at that wake view there off the back of the ship from the Sunset Bar location. And in my opinion, the wake view is one of the best on the entire ship or from the entire ship rather. And the Sunset Bar is where you're gonna get the best vantage point of that wake view from on board the Celebrity Solstice. Our next location is the Ocean View Cafe and it is on deck 14 in the aft of the ship, just one deck lower from where we just were. And of course the Ocean View Cafe is the main buffet on board. So you will see as we walk through plenty of seating to be found in this location. There are also plenty of food stations. Of course, the most popular being the pizza station. The pizza station is open from very early in the morning to about 1 a.m. in the morning. Here you can see the marketplace sort of setup of the buffet and all the various buffet stations that they have. They always have such a great selection of food in the Ocean View Cafe. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And now exiting toward the aft of the ship from the Ocean View Cafe, we'll come to our next location located in the back of the ship on deck 14. This is the Ocean View Bar. And I found this was typically open during lunch and dinner hours, but you can come out here and get a drink to enjoy, uh, maybe just off the back of the ship, but definitely with your meal. And then if you walk up these stairs and go up just one deck higher, you will be at the Sunset Bar. So sort of two bars right there together on the after the ship on deck 15 and deck 14 with the Sunset Bar and the Ocean View Bar. And now walking out of the ocean view, now we are at midship on deck 14. We will come to the main elevator bank on deck 14. And I just wanted to show this to you that there are a lot of elevators accessible both on starboard and port side of the ship on deck 14 main and all throughout the ship. Now we'll head outside onto the main deck 
and this is a beautiful place again you're going to see the sunset right here a beautiful place to get pictures right here by the stairs those stairs will take you up to the lawn club in deck 15 but we're going to head toward the middle of the ship here on deck 14 and that's where we're going to find the running track if you're one who likes to get some exercise in throughout the course of your cruise well the running track's probably where uh, you're going to be able to do that it is the only running track it's not very big uh, but you see it also is around all of the seating that they have out for sea days. It can get very busy when there's a lot of people. Uh, there can be people just walking very slowly. So sometimes it can be difficult to get your jogs in. But a lot of places to sit here if you want to sit overlooking the pool. There are also these covered areas which are great as well. The mass bar is up next. It's on deck 15 in the middle of the ship just up above the pool area. It's a place to come and grab a drink maybe when you're out relaxing by the pool. And that is on the starboard side of the ship. And then walking over to the port side of the ship, we will find where you can grab a bite to eat if you're laying out by the pool. And that is at the Mass Grill. The Mass Grill is typically open in the afternoon hours into the evening hours. It is a place you can get your hamburgers and hot dogs and things like that when you're laying out by the pool. Now we're back on the running track. We're headed toward the front of the ship on deck 14. One of the great things about Celebrity Ships is all of the art that you can find on board their ships. And there is a lot of art, as you can see here, on board Celebrity Solstice. We are now on deck 14 in the very forward of the ship. And that's where we find the Sky Observation Lounge. And the Sky Observation Lounge is one of two nightclub possibilities on board the ship. But it's also just a great place to come sit any time of day. It is open, I think, pretty much 24-7 for you to come and sit plenty of seating in this venue as you can see they also have celebrity activities like trivia throughout the day there is also a bar in here at night this whole place converts to be the nightclub so if you're into going to the nightclub it's a great location for that with a nice big dance floor uh, but i think the best use of the observation lounge is for observation as like i said plenty of seating in here a uh, place to grab a drink, sit down. It's nice and quiet in here. Sometimes they'll be playing some light music, but it's usually pretty quiet in here. Not a lot of people throughout the day, but it does ramp up in the evenings and at night when folks are in here utilizing it as a nightclub. And now back at the main elevator bank here on deck 14, the forward of the ship just outside of the Sky Observation Lounge. If we go to the other side, Sky Observation Lounge entrance is over on the starboard side. If we go to port side though, just opposite that, here's the Sky Conference Center. And the Sky Conference Center is of course conference space, uh, celebrity features conference space, I think on just about all of their ships, but this is the location on the solstice. And you can see, uh, you know, plenty of space here to have a conference if you wanna have a seminar or something like that on board. Great views to out that window overlooking the ocean. Dropping down now to deck 12, because there is no deck 13 on the ship, we're starting in the forward of the ship, and that's where we're going to find the spa on board the Celebrity Solstice, and there are plenty of features to be found at the spa on the Solstice. Of course, there's a salon, a full beauty salon where you can get your hair cut. They also have massage therapies, all different treatments, skin treatments. Uh, just go there. Usually on the first day, they're offering tours, so I recommend you drop by there on the first day of your cruise and see all of the fantastic treatments and opportunities that the spa on Celebrity Solstice offers. Now heading just aft of the spa, we'll come to the solarium. This is on deck 12 in the forward of the ship and the solarium is all enclosed. So no matter what time of year you're sailing or if you're sailing in Alaska on the Solstice, don't worry. There is a pool here for you to enjoy. Now this is an adults only section, I think 16 years and older. So if you wanna get away from the kids maybe, um, this is also a great, place for you to do that as well and like I said it's all enclosed and also located in the solarium is the spa cafe on deck 12 forward the spa cafe is a location where you can get some healthier fare usually only open for breakfast and lunch now heading aft of the solarium we will come to the main pool deck on board the solstice and of course this is where the pools are located on board the ship there's also plenty of seating to be found all around the pool so if you want to come out on a sea day and grab a chair and sit out by the pool, well, deck 12 mid is the place to do that. There's also the pool bar located just beside the pool. So if you want to get out of the pool and get a drink, 
And here are the jacuzzis and the main pools that are located right there on the main pool deck on deck 12 mid. Now we're gonna head down to deck 11 because that's all of the common areas on deck 12. And in deck 11 forward, we'll find the spa relaxation room. And if you have access via aqua class, or if maybe you just wanna buy a spa pass, this is a great place to come and relax. This is a relaxation room that you can sort of come to before or after your treatments and just sort of hang out and relax a little bit, maybe before you head back to your room. And then if we walk down this hallway, just back from the relaxation rooms, we'll come to this stairwell that's actually gonna take us up to deck 12. And this is where we're gonna find the main part of the spa. Deck 12 forward, we were just there, uh, but this stairwell from deck 11 brings you up. And this is also where you're gonna find the Persian gardens or the thermal suites on board the ship. And if you're in aqua class, you're definitely gonna wanna check that out because you have full access. On deck 10 mid now, we come to the library and there is a very impressive library on board Celebrity Solstice. You see these great high bookshelves there. Uh, of course, a lot of those books up there are just fake, but the library looks out over the atrium, the main atrium down below. You can see a real tree there in the middle. Of course, the glass elevator is going up and down. Maybe you want to bring some books from home and leave as well. If you have any extra laying around, bring and leave in the library here on deck 10, middle of the ship. This is a great place to come and sit with coffee. Sometimes I would just come and sit even without a book. It's very quiet there, of course. It's a library, uh, but a beautiful location. And I'm really glad that there is such a large library on this ship. And I think on all the Solstice class ships, they all offer a pretty extensive library, which is nice to see on board a cruise ship. And like I said, all around you, you have these sweeping views of the atrium down below and the decks that are open just down from you. Now just aft of the library is the mid elevator bank on deck 10. And I will say here that other than the library on deck 10, there is no other common guest areas. The rest of deck 10 is all guest staterooms. So uh, that's all we're featuring on deck 10. And taking the stairs down to deck nine, deck nine, just like deck 10, the only thing located on deck nine for all guests is the card room, which we're about to see. So we're gonna walk through the elevator bank and make our way to the card room. Again, the only thing on deck nine, uh, common guest area other than staterooms is the card room. And this is a place where you can come and maybe bring your cards or board games. I think they even have board games available in here. Uh, but you see folks just sitting there playing a game, enjoying the afternoon. And now we're jumping all the way down to deck seven mid because there are no common guest areas on deck eight. But here on deck seven mid, we will find Team Earth and the concierge desk. And I was really uh, surprised to see this. I had never really been inside of Team Earth before. Didn't really know what it was until I filmed this tour. But it's really an entire area just talking about sustainability and the earth and protecting the earth and taking care of the earth and climate change and things like that. It was really cool to read uh, some of the information that they had in here and look at some of the pictures. And like I mentioned, this is also the location of the concierge desk and it's also the location of the captain's club desk. So if you have concierge class and access to the concierge, this is the place you come, deck seven mid, or if you have any captain's club issues, they can help you out at this location as well. Now dropping down to deck six mid, like the decks up above it all the way up to deck 10, there's nothing on deck six, other than what we're gonna see right here at the Celebrity Eye Lounge, deck six mid, and this is the location where you can come and use the computers. If you have any need to access the internet, maybe you left your computer at home and realized you need to do a little bit of work throughout your cruise. Well, this is the location you're gonna be able to come. You can see a lot of computers available there, a lot of uh, Mac computers available, and you can log on to those. I think you do have to purchase some sort of internet, maybe by minute or something like that. They do have Starlink available now, so it is a pretty fast internet, but that is located here on deck six mid. The Celebrity Eye Lounge. Now we're on deck five in the aft of the ship and we'll start in Tuscan Grill. And Tuscan Grill is the location that you're gonna find on the very aft of the ship on deck five. Tuscan Grill is a specialty dining restaurant on board. So you do have to pay additional to dine in here, but I highly recommend it. Tuscan Grill is one of the best specialty restaurants on board the Celebrity Solstice. And uh, well, one of the reasons why you're looking at it, just look out those windows, take a look at the ocean. It's just all around you. When you get on back the seating, uh, it, the ocean just sort of envelops you. You're sort of surrounded all around by views of the ocean, which is really nice. So now headed outside of Tuscan restaurant toward the middle portion of the ship, we're gonna to come to another 
specialty dining opportunity. And this is the location of Blue Restaurant. Blue Restaurant being very, very popular for guesting in aqua class because only guesting in aqua class or in suites have the ability to dine at Blue Restaurant. And Blue offers healthier fares to those guests. It's a really great place to eat. It's one of my favorite places to eat on any celebrity cruise ship. And of course, there is a window here offering great views off of the port side of the ship. And you can see it's just a beautiful dining room. They have beautiful blue finishings all over with the blue carpet. And the cool thing about Blue Restaurant is it looks pretty similar on the Solstice class ships as it does on the Edge and Millennium class ships. And just across the way on deck five aft from Blue Restaurant is our next dining venue. And this is Silk Harvest Restaurant. And this is the location of Le Petit Chef. So if you have that specialty dining booked for your cruise on the Solstice, this is where you're gonna come. Now the doors were closed when I was filming this video, so I did not go inside or have the opportunity to film inside. Uh, but if you are dining at Le Petit Chef, just remember it's on deck five in the aft of the ship. And that's one of the cool things about the aft portion of the ship on Celebrity Solstice as we pan back around here. You're always gonna find great art on board Celebrity Ships, but a lot of dining venues located on deck five aft. And we'll talk about even more here in just a second as we head toward the middle of the ship. But first, let me head outside here because I did wanna show you just outside this door here. Let's open it up and take a step outside. There we go. This is the promenade on deck five, and you can walk all the way to the forward of the ship, all the way up to the Solstice Theater, all the way in the forward of the ship, all the way along the promenade. So if you wanna take a step outside, maybe you have an inside or an ocean view cabin and you wanna have some time outside to yourself, it's usually pretty private out there. There's a couple of chairs and places to sit down. Now we're gonna head toward the middle portion of the ship here on deck five. And this is where we're gonna enter the Ensemble Lounge. And the Ensemble Lounge is where you'll see a lot of folks hanging out before and just after dinner. It's also a lounge that sees a lot of foot traffic because this is the main vein through the ship to get back to deck five and all those restaurants that are back there on the after the ship. Speaking of restaurants, we're coming to our next specialty dining venue on board the Solstice, which is Murano Restaurant. And it's a very good restaurant, highly recommend. You dine there if you never have. Just beside Murano on deck five mid is Michael's Club. And Michael's Club is a lounge dedicated only to those guests staying in a suite. So if you're in the retreat, this is the retreat lounge. It's called Michael's Club and it's here on deck five mid. And now heading toward the front of the ship or the mid of the ship uh, from Michael's Club, we are going to enter this little art installation. And I think it's really cool that on deck five on all of their ships, it seems like, or most of their ships, I know for at least the Edge class ships and Solstice class ships, there is some sort of art installation on deck five. And this is where we find it here on the Solstice. Um, it was this little vase sitting here and also these little ants on the floor, which were pretty interesting. Now headed forward on deck five, we see another area where you can enter the promenade outside if you wanna take a step outside. And then continuing past that, we're gonna to come to the elevator bank on deck five mid. And just past that is one of the most popular places on the entire ship. Deck 5 Mid over on the starboard side is where you're going to find Cafe Albacho. And that's, of course, where you can get all of your coffee needs, maybe tea. They have uh, lattes and frappuccinos and all the things like that. They also have amazing pastries. And all these pastries you see here are included in the cost of your cruise. They also have some fabulous cookies, including those white macadamia cookies. So I highly encourage you to come and take advantage of Cafe Albacho throughout the course of your cruise. Their coffees are included in the classic and premium beverage package. So if you have either of those, make sure you take advantage and come down and get you some coffee. And just on the other side of the atrium, on deck five from Cafe El Bacho is Sushi on Five. And Sushi on Five, of course, is the sushi restaurant on board the Solstice. And it is an amazing place to eat. It's one of my favorite specialty dining opportunities on any celebrity ship. I love dining at Sushi on Five. It's a great place to eat. And of course, it's open to everything else there on deck five right there in the atrium. So you won't be missing a minute of the action while you're dining. Now headed toward the forward of the ship on deck five from Sushi on Five, we're gonna come to our next location on the ship, our next bar on the ship. And that of course is the famous world-class bar that's located on a lot of celebrity ships now, but especially all the Solstice class ships that's located here on deck five mid. And continuing our journey from the world-class bar toward the front of the ship, we now come to the celebrity shops. And the celebrity shops are where you can come and shop for just about 
anything imaginable. Of course, they have jewelry and fragrances and clothes. They have just about everything. And the shops are located on deck five from about the middle of the ship all the way to the forward of the ship. And just near the celebrity shops on deck five, we're gonna find our next location and that is the art gallery on board the ship. And that's located on deck five in the forward of the ship. There's also this nice little overlook down to deck four below. Now just past the art gallery, continuing toward the front of the ship, uh, there are a couple more shops to pass here and then we're gonna come to the Solstice Theater. And on deck five of the Solstice Theater, that is the upper level seating. So just remember, if you go to the theater on deck five, you are gonna be seated up in the upper level of seating. Now we'll go down to deck four in the front of the ship, or the forward of the ship, and take a look at the lower level of seating. We're actually gonna walk inside the Solstice Theater, take a little look inside of here. And of course, this is where you can come for nightly shows. They have nightly entertainment inside Solstice Theater, including stage production shows. They have musicians, they have comedians, they have special guest entertainers, just always a lot of entertainment to be found at the Solstice Theater. And just aft of Solstice Theater, just behind it is Celebrity Central, located on deck four in the forward of the ship. Celebrity Central is another theater on board, we'll call it, but it's, uh, it's not very big at all. This is more of an intimate setting. I've seen them have comedy in here sometimes. It reminds me a lot of the punchline or comedy clubs that they have on Carnival Cruise Ships, but you see it's just a smaller venue. Sometimes they have movies in here throughout the course of the cruise. Also located on deck four in the forward of the ship is Kesar, and Kesar is one of the other clubs. You know, I mentioned the Sky Observation Lounge being the club but this is the other nightclub located on board the Solstice, and you see there is a bar inside of here. There's also a large dance floor and plenty of seating to be found inside of Kesar Club. So if the nightclub is your thing, this is the location you're gonna wanna come. And they do alternate having events between Sky Observation Lounge and Kesar. So you do wanna check the Daily Planner to see where you wanna be headed each night. And just beside the club is the future cruise desk. This is where you wanna come to make your future vacation plans. They sometimes offer special deals and incentives like onboard credit if you book your cruise while on your current cruise. And just after that, we come to the photo gallery on deck four forward. And this is of course where you can come and get all the photos that they've taken of you throughout the cruise. They have little kiosks that you can come up to and everything is digital here on the Solstice. So you can just pull it up and it'll bring all your pictures up digitally and you can take a look at those. Now, just beside the photo gallery and here on deck four mid is the shops on Boulevard. And these are more shops on board the ship. So if shopping's your thing, plenty of shopping to be found on the ship. Just across from that is the casino. And then just aft of that is another popular location on board the ship, on deck for mid, and that is the Martini Bar. The Martini Bar is especially busy in the evenings before and after dinner time. A lot of folks sitting around that. And just across the ship, over on starboard side from Martini Bar, is Cellar Masters. And Cellar Masters is a little bit quieter of a venue if you want to come and hang out, have a drink, maybe have some wine before or after dinner. Uh, well, you see the ambiance inside of Cellar Masters. It's uh, actually quite dark in there, uh, but a nice place to come and sit and maybe hang out with friends before or after dinner. This is Cellar Masters located on deck four in the middle portion of the ship. And just outside of Cellar Masters is the main elevator bank on deck four. And we're gonna continue making our way toward the aft of the ship on deck four. And this is where we're gonna find the Grand Epernay. And this is the main dining room on board the ship. Now this is the upper level of the dining room because when we go down to deck three in the aft, we're also gonna see the continuation of Grand Epernay. And Speaking of continuation of the main dining room, uh, we're gonna walk from starboard, which is where we just were. We're gonna walk over to port side. First, taking a look at the grand foyer there. A beautiful location, especially in the evening when it's all lit up and you can see the glass elevators moving up and down. But we continue moving over to the port side of the ship here on deck four aft, and we're gonna find the continuation of the main dining room. So uh, depending on what dining you have, sometimes uh, sign dining will be on one deck and celebrity select will be located on the other deck. So just make sure you check your celebrity app for which dining room you're supposed to and which location you're supposed to check in each night. So now we're dropping down to deck three. We're gonna remain in the aft of the ship and we are gonna find, again, the continuation of Grand Epernay Dining Room, the main dining room 
on board the ship. And again, just make sure that you check and make sure which location you're supposed to check in at each night, because depending on what dining you have, you might be on deck four or you might be on deck three. Now moving across the ship over to the starboard side of the ship here on deck three in the after the ship, we're gonna find Lumine, another dining venue. And this dining venue is exclusive to those guests staying in the retreat. So if you're staying in a suite, you have full access to Lumine, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is your dining room. Of course, you can dine anywhere else on the ship too, but uh, I suggest you come to Lumine. And I think if you've been there before, you would agree with me. But this is the location of Lumine. It is a fairly small location, especially if you have sailed on some of the bigger ships. Uh, Lumine is quite smaller on some of these older ships. So now leaving out of Lumine and headed toward the mid portion of the ship here on deck three, the first thing we're going to come to is the shore excursion desk. And this, of course, is the location you want to come to plan your day in each of the ports of call. If you want to purchase a shore excursion from the cruise line, maybe you did before the cruise and need to make adjustments, that's the place to do it. And then just forward of the shore excursion desk, you're gonna find the passport bar. This is a place to grab a drink if you're hanging out in the grand foyer in the evening. They do have a lot of activities that go on each evening here in the grand foyer. They had a lot of dance parties, a lot of theme nights. This of course is the location of silent disco when they have that throughout the course of the cruise and it's a beautiful location you can see you can look up and decks four and five are overlooking you can also see uh this grand elevator bank and all of the glass and they light it up very beautifully at night you can also see that real live tree up there that suspends uh right around the elevator bank and then moving back over to the port side of the ship here on deck three mid, we're gonna to come to guest relations. And the guest relations desk, of course, is where you come for all of your needs or concerns. And that's gonna do it for our tour around the Celebrity Solstice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.